Android on Chrome. Yeah, huge. Mm -hmm. Huge. All right, yes. why is it so huge, Aaron? Uh, because they're native apps. I mean, again, we, we always have this debate on this show, right? Whether Chrome OS or Android's better, now you have the best of both worlds. So you can run your Chrome OS, and then you can... Oh, there's this app I really want to run. And not only does it run, but it runs and it runs natively. If you go out and look at some of the Verge coverage on this, you'll see they, they demoed a little bit of this uh, of apps running in Chrome. They did, you know, full size Gmail and full size, a couple full size apps running on the uh, on the Pixel. And it looks great and it performs great. And now you don't have to make a choice. You can just say, oh, yeah, I want that app and I want it to run here, but I want all the native functionality that I have in Chrome OS. And you've got both. So I think it's really fantastic. And I think eventually as we head towards that uh, merge, that eventual merge that's going to happen, I think, between Chrome OS and Android, this is one step towards that. So I'm really excited to see it. What's interesting is uh, it's running they, – they had – in fact, if you watch the seminar, it's on YouTube. You can, you can watch the talk, mm -hmm. which was on uh, Thursday. Um, they had tried other ways of doing this, including something called Android Runtime for Chrome, mm. which they – decided not to use they said you know this didn't work too well so they're doing containers basically now mm -hmm. right docker style uh containers and i think the most important upshot of that is if you're a developer you don't have to change your app at all right so that means immediately and this is going to start uh, on people who have uh, uh there's three models if you're uh, in the developer channel on your chromebook uh, start next month. I put immediately put my Chromebook Pixel in the developer channel, so uh, I'll let you know when we get it. But that should start in June. And then they expect it to roll out Chrome OS wide, with some exceptions. Some of the older Chromebooks, I think, don't do this, um, in, um, in September. Here is the demo from um, Google I.O., didn't, which unfortunately didn't go too well because they didn't have internet really access. But it's actually very bizarre. she demoed how she could who use. You're trying to reach is currently on. Oh, Skype, Skype on Linux failed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. And we're gonna get Matt to boot into Windows. <laughs> um, that's not, by the way, Linux's fault. That's Skype's, uh, Microsoft's fault. Yeah. So she's using Photoshop Mix on a Chromebook to do Photoshop style editing. And cut out that we can zoom in. Will they? Will the app support? Uh, if I guess if you have a Pixel, they'll support touch, right? Oh, yep, they do. Um, in fact, they were showing that um, on the video that I saw. He was actually uh, squeezing, know, pinching, and zooming. Squeezing, pinching, zooming, and touching to enter. You know, go to to move the cursor around as he wanted to enter text and That's things neat. like that. So it's very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, they did say that if you wanted to uh, optimize for this uh, as a developer, you might want to look at layouts, right? Because that's the only yeah. uh, the only issue. Stacy, what do you think this means for Chrome OS? Is this like a big? Does this mean Chrome OS suddenly is going to? It's already very successful in education, but it's going to go mainstream. Yeah, I would think that you could put this on. I mean, I I don't know. I, I didn't pay too much attention to this because I was more focused on the device side. But yeah, we'll get to the uh, home because that's your thing. I know, but home and chips—that's that, yeah. where I was excited. But um, this this gives me more reason to buy a Chromebook for my daughter because right now she's she's got a MacBook. Um, but it's also it could change the way people develop. I mean, as these things start moving together, it gives you a reason to put you know touch on a p not a PC but a laptop form factor perhaps i don't know this is just me thinking ahead and getting all crazy here uh, you know schools will probably turn it off so will some enterprises because they don't want kids playing minecraft that's one of the advantages of a chromebook mm -hmm. here's my question maybe you could answer this aaron I, I, my sense is because of the way they're doing this with containers even though they're talking about chrome os and chromebooks I think this could probably work on Windows and Mac as well. It could do this in any Chrome browser. You should be able to, absolutely. Any Chrome they may, browser. They may artificially restrict that initially, but I don't, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. And that means Chrome is also, and this is really good for Google, because the more you use Chrome, the happier they are. Uh, so the more you separate yourself from the underlying OS, the better, yeah. as far as they're right. concerned. Yeah. Yep. Um, Unless it's Android, and then it's okay. Right. <laughs> but all the signals that – what really Google makes money from, of course, is all the data, the signals mm -hmm. that you send them as you use Chrome browsing the web. Yep. Um, this makes Chrome an incredibly valuable product, mm -hmm. more so than any browser. Yep. It's already dominant. It's already, uh, you know, beaten IE. Here's a 
this is interesting. This is a game, fairly challenging game, but because you're running on a Chromebook, you have a GPU right. much better than mm -hmm. any Android uh, uh, phone. Yep. Uh, so you can run games. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. The the one thing that's hard to get rid of, hard to get used to, and it's not a problem on the Pixel. By the way, there she's making a purchase with uh, the cr store using Play store, her, absolutely. Or her wallet. So everything is everything works. It all works. Yeah. Um, with Pixel, you've got the touch interface right there on the screen, so that's great. Um, one problem that I found because I run Android on the desktop a lot is that you have to if you don't have a touch interface, then you have to translate in your head between mouse touches. Right. Like oh yeah, this isn't yeah. double click; it's single click. Things like that you have to translate in your head. So depending on where this goes, whether it goes more towards a desktop or whether it'll be a requirement to have a touch interface to run this, um, we'll just have to wait and see.